Hey, what's going on today, guys? As you saw in my last video, I just got the new EVGA variant of the 2080 Ti by NVIDIA. So, anyway, the card, as you can see in the background, is playing phenomenally well in Battlefield 1 in 4K max settings. So, in these clips, the frame rate rarely ever drops below 60 frames per second. That's pretty impressive since the, since the graphics are pushed to the absolute limits. And even under th these intense workloads, the graphic card remains virtually silent. So aside from function, I want to focus on another key factor of this card, which is aesthetics. I mean, if you're paying around 1200 US dollars for this card, you obviously want it to look good in your system. So what I did was I, I turned off all the, all the components within my mid tower case, with the exception of this card, and I mounted my, my uh, low light lens along with my A6500 Sony camera body. So yeah, I'm going to be demonstrating the full RGB LED capabilities of this video card. And we're going to see if it lives up to the deluxe line of the RTX 2080 Ti standards. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Alright, so right now I have downloaded EVGA Precision X1. This is a compatible uh, tuning program. It's an application for any RTX cards on the EVGA lineup. So you can do a variety of things. You can adjust the uh, core memory, uh, core clock, the voltage, power, pretty much anything that has to do with uh, overclocking to get better performance with the card. As well as uh, you can uh, you can monitor the te the temperatures, the core performance, etc. On the graphs right here, but most importantly today I want to go over the functions with the, uh, the LED for aesthetics. So right now it's it's set at static off. I'm just gonna set it to static on right now. Click apply. So yeah, right now the color is set to blue as you can see on the camera there. Just set it to red. You can cycle through a variety of colors, that's pretty neat. I guess if you click the advanced tabs, now you can choose even more variety of colors right there. What happens if you set it to black? Apply. Okay, so black just turns off. If anybody were curious, that's... I was curious on that. Let's try yellow. Apply. Okay, so I'll keep that yellow for now, just so it gives a it can really show the brightness uh, being being adjusted. So let uh, there's medium brightness. Let's try minimum. Okay, minimum turns it completely off. There's minimum brightness right there. All right, so let's put a maximum brightness. I'll leave at that. So now going to the, the next next option, breathing. Breathing is basically an intermittent shift between uh, two different phases. So I can let's say I set my color A to to red, and then my color B will be green. Let's click apply. And yeah, quickly you'll see you'll see what I mean. It it switches between the two colors. So now uh, like the red is in, is at medium brightness and the green is at maximum brightness. You can do you can play around get get exactly what you want. And now both of them have equal brightness for their for at their the peak of their phase. So now now this this is with the speed on medium. Let's set it to to maximum. See what that is. Okay, that's way that's way too fast. There's no there's no you, you don't even see a gradual change there. It just switches immediately. Let's try the lowest speed. So that's a, that's the most gradual change you can have. By the way, guys, this diagram right here represents if you have two EVGA cards and SLI connected. I only have the top one connected on the on the top PCI slot on my motherboard. That's why this part is highlighted. Anyway, if 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 you do happen to have two an SLI, you just press this command right here to uh, to sync them together. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that. But yeah, you can differentiate them with this with this key right here. If I were to press it right now, my computer would freeze, so I'm not going to do that. But you get the idea. 
so the last mode I want to show you guys is probably my most favorite it's temperature anyway so right now I have uh, the color A set at number 30 and color B is set at number 75 that means that if the temperature of the card is closer toward 30 degrees Celsius it will show more of a blue color and if it's if it's uh, vice versa, if it's closer towards 75, which is really hot by the way, it'll show more of a red color. So yeah, right right here I have uh, a, uh, on a chart showing my current GPU temperature. It's at 52 degrees Celsius. So as you can see on on the camera there, it's kind of a, it's more so on the on the blue color right now. But anyway, I'm gonna just to demonstrate, I'm gonna get I'm gonna try and get this card to be get really hot. So. Let's let's try running uh, uh, the mining program on Nysash. Let's let let's look at the graph. Yeah, and it's right away. It's jumping up to 6, 62, 63 degrees right there. 64. Now 65 degrees. Anyway, as you can see see on the camera now, the the card is clearly going to, more toward the red shade color. The reason why the reason why I like this this feature so much is because. It, for example, if we're in a game, we, we often don't, well, we have a game window open, so we obviously can't have a window like this open simultaneously. If you want to see a, the, a quick uh, as, estimate of the temperature of the card, you can just look at the LEDs on it. And if it's, of course, if it's more so the color red, that means you're running, uh, you're really putting stress on the card and it's getting really hot. And vice versa, if it's, a non, if it's in an idle, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to try and get I'm going to stop this program and uh, yeah, let's see the temperature drop and yeah, now, it's, now it's in the 50s so you can see now it's, it's shifting more toward the blue color again. So now I've let the card cool down a bit it's at 49 degrees Celsius I don't think it's going to get any uh, any cooler because I'm running a screen recording software right now which which does utilize the GPU. Anyway yeah it's a pretty handy feature for temperature visualization. Anyway guys I appreciate if you made it this far in the video I had a lot of fun making it and it was a good learning experience to play around with the, the LED software. So yeah, if you have uh, any concerns or want me to make uh, future videos on this card in a certain subject, feel free to leave it in the comments section. I definitely welcome uh, any, any input you guys have. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye now.